When you have long-term kidney disease and are on dialysis, it can be difficult to keep your blood phosphate levels balanced. Tenopaner, also known as Sfosa 30 mg tablet, is a medication that helps lower high blood phosphate levels in people on dialysis. It works by decreasing how much phosphate your body absorbs from the foods you eat. This can help keep your bones strong, prevent unsafe buildup of minerals in your body, and may decrease the risk of heart disease and strokes that can result from high phosphate levels. It's important to note that this medication should not be used by children younger than 6 years due to the risk for harm, especially serious dehydration. The daily dosage and optimal timing for taking this medication will be prescribed by your healthcare provider, so be sure to follow their instructions carefully. If you have any concerns about taking this medication, be sure to discuss them with your healthcare provider. When taking Sfosa 30 mg tablet phosphate binder agents, it's important to follow your doctor's instructions. Usually, you will take this medication once before your first meal of the day, and once before your last meal of the day. If you have dialysis on a particular day, avoid taking a dose right before the procedure. If you need to reschedule a dose due to dialysis, wait and take the skipped dose right before your next meal after dialysis. The dosage of Sfosa 30 mg tablet phosphate binder agents is based on your medical condition and how you respond to the treatment. It's important to take this medication regularly to get the most benefit from it. Try to take it at the same times each day on days when you don't have dialysis. Do not increase your dose or use this drug more often or for longer than prescribed. Using it more frequently will not improve your condition faster and may increase your risk of side effects. If you also take sodium polystyrene sulfonate to lower the level of potassium in your blood, make sure to separate it from tenopaner by at least 3 hours, as it may decrease the effectiveness of tenopaner. Remember to inform your doctor if your condition does not improve or if it gets worse. If you experience diarrhea while taking Sfosa 30 mg tablet phosphate binder agents, talk to your doctor or pharmacist. This medication has been prescribed to you because the benefits outweigh the potential side effects. Most people do not experience serious side effects, but if you notice severe diarrhea or signs of a serious allergic reaction such as rash, swelling, dizziness, or trouble breathing, seek medical help immediately. If you have any other effects that concern you, contact your doctor or pharmacist. Remember to follow your doctor's instructions and take the medication as directed. Before taking Sfosa 30 mg tablet phosphate binder agents, make sure to inform your doctor or pharmacist if you have any allergies. This medication may contain inactive ingredients that can cause allergic reactions or other problems. It's important to discuss this with your pharmacist for more details. Before using Sfosa, it's important to tell your doctor or pharmacist about your medical history, especially if you have a history of stomach or intestinal blockage. If you are planning to have surgery, it is crucial to inform your doctor or dentist about all the products you are using, including prescription drugs, non-prescription drugs, and herbal products. If you are pregnant, this medication should only be used when clearly needed. It's important to discuss the risks and benefits with your doctor. It is not known if this medication passes into breast milk, so it is important to consult your doctor before breastfeeding. When taking Sfosa 30 mg tablet phosphate binder agents, the recommended dosage and timing should be determined by your doctor. It's important to follow their instructions for the best results. It's important to be aware of potential drug interactions, as they can affect how your medications work and increase the risk of serious side effects. This is not an exhaustive list of all possible drug interactions, so it's essential to keep a record of all the products you use, including prescription-slash-non-prescription drugs and herbal products, and share it with your doctor and pharmacist. Always consult with your doctor before starting, stopping, or changing the dosage of any medicines. Some products that may interact with Sfosa 30 mg tablet phosphate binder agents are laxatives, such as bisacodyl and docusate. It's important to discuss any potential interactions with your healthcare provider. If someone takes too much Sfosa 30 mg tablet and experiences severe symptoms like fainting or difficulty breathing, it is important to seek immediate medical help. In the US, you can call your local poison control center at 1-800-222-1222, and in Canada, you can contact a provincial poison control center. Your doctor may recommend a specific diet to help reduce your blood phosphate levels. It's important to follow this diet closely. 
make sure not to share this medication with others. Your doctor may also schedule regular lab tests to monitor your blood phosphate levels while you are taking this medication. It's important to attend all medical and lab appointments. Be sure to consult your doctor for more information. If you forget to take a dose, just wait until the next dose just before your next meal. Do not try to make up for the missed dose by taking extra. When storing Sfosa 30 mg tablet phosphate binder agents, it's important to keep them in the original container at room temperature away from light and moisture. To prevent moisture from affecting the medication, make sure to keep the drying agent, desiccant, in the bottle with the cap tightly closed when not in use. Avoid storing in the bathroom and keep all medications out of reach of children and pets. When it comes to disposing of Sfosa 30 mg tablet phosphate binder agents, it's important not to flush them down the toilet or pour them into a drain unless specifically instructed to do so. Properly discard this product and it is expired or no longer needed. If you're unsure of the best way to dispose of the medication, consult your pharmacist or local waste disposal company for guidance. If you need more help, call your doctor for medical advice. In the US, you call FDA. 1-800-FDA-1088. In Canada, you may call Health Canada, 1-866-234-2345. Wishing you good health. Thanks for watching.